and you know these children senselessly killed two children dead nine critically injured and we're all shocked by it and yet we're not shocked by 20,000 Palestinians that have died yeah. now every child's life is important whether they're in Southport or whether they're in Gaza or whether anywhere in the world it's important and I have two of my grandchildren waiting for A-level results I've got one grandchild who's we're trying to teach to say yes rather than no and I'm sure lots of people are involved with children in Palestine. I was in Gaza quite often and people absolutely love the children and they take care of them as a community. It's not just individual nuclear families, it's the whole of Palestine takes responsibility. And the big ride spoke before when I was in Gaza, I was there when they opened, thanks to the big ride, a park for sport for girls. And it was a good, good initiative to encourage girls to be able, it's not that they didn't want to play sport, but they're not encouraged necessarily. So getting on the bikes, playing football, doing all these things, that together with the lads or separate from the boys. It was a great thing and that's what people have done. And the children are much more, or were much more, keen on education than I've noticed in Britain. You know, you have to push your kids to do any old work. There, they're keen on it. They see education as a way of improving their lives. They've got ambitions, not anymore. All the schools are destroyed. Shame. Their dreams are destroyed. Their bodies are crushed. Murder. And they are being murdered. And the problem is, this is being normalized. We're actually, we were very upset about looking at Southport. I thought it was horrible. But why aren't people upset about what's happening in Gaza, the genocide? Because they're making it normal. And if it becomes normal, then anybody can do it anywhere in the world. And our government is now getting ready, not just to be complicit in Palestine, but to be complicit in Lebanon. The foreign, the foreign Office has told British citizens to leave Lebanon. The uh, German Foreign Office has told their citizens to leave Lebanon. The US have told their citizens to leave Lebanon. Why? Because they've been told by Israel that they'll be bombing Lebanon. When they bombed Lebanon in 2006, they flattened it. I remember somebody coming here to speak about it, and he said it was as though they hated the insects. Even after everybody was dead, everything was in rubble, they carried on bombing as though they wanted to destroy the insects. And that's what genocide is. It just, it just accumulates and carries on and it's horrific. And what we're doing here is hitting it at the heart. We have to make sure that always we are attacking the industries that are creating the bombs. So this is a key target. It has to be a key target. It has to be a key target for everyone in the region. And get ready for the 
18th, 19th and 20th of November in Tunsworth, there is an arms fair. Now I don't know if any of you have... Telford. And Telford, what did I say? Telford. Telford, sorry, Telford. It's not my area down here. Okay, so I think people need to really go to those arms fairs because they're so cozy. They all swap information about how well they're doing and how their weapons can destroy more people than the others. And Elbit are always there, and they're always saying, well, ours are tested, field tested. Yeah. So they can say that, so we keep Shame coming here, them. and we go to the arms fairs, and well done everybody that keeps it up, because we are fighting for the children of this world, and we'll keep fighting for them, and we won't have it that it's normal to kill any child. Woo! 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 Woo!